How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with, obviously a review, but a little bit of side-by-side, -side, or a little versus review, in the form of Civil Society Brewing's Space Puppies versus Space Bunnies, double IPA. Um, Civil Society, don't know much about them other than the two beers I've had previous. Those two beers come courtesy of Ralph, thank you very much, Ralph. Uh, he sent me off a couple beers, two beers, a couple weeks ago. Um, went through those, didn't post the reviews as the time of this, I'd probably have posted them. Um, but then he immediately backed it up with a kind of six beer bomb of Civil Society beers. Uh, you can watch that unboxing if you want to go back to my reviews. And, um, these two were in that box. And, you know, one Space Puppies, one Space Bunnies, they're both double IPAs, I figured. Gotta do them together. I don't know if they're the same beer. Uh, I don't know anything about them because I don't do any research on anything, but I figured they're probably a bit different. So why not do a side-by-side -side for science? So here we go. As far as what it says on the puppy can, it says, Space Puppies, double IPA, 8% alcohol by volume. Done. No date on that can. Uh, he sent me the date, so I'm a poop, poopy person for not posting that or reading that or whatever. Anyway, and then we have Space Bunnies. It's double IPA, 8%. Oh, very much the same. That'd be that. Um, so yeah, label-wise, they're exactly the same, except for coloration, and one has a puppy, looks like a Boston Terrier on it, and one has a uh, bunny, I do not know my bunny genuses, so you can um, go from there and kind of figure that out on your own, but yeah, I actually do like the cans, to be perfectly honest with you. Listen, there's bunnies and puppies involved. Listen, if you hate bunnies and puppies, if you're not allergic, well, I don't think you'd be allergic to bunnies. I know people that get bunnies because they're allergic to puppies. But if you're not allergic, then if you don't like dogs, I mean bunnies and whatever, but bunnies, but dogs, we can't be friends. Sorry. So let's do the, uh, the, uh, little, yep, little pour here. See if I screw this up. I've been nailing these as of late, actually. I haven't even really been practicing them. Just kind of crushing it. That's not too shabby. Put that sucker there. That sucker there. And let's see. Um, yeah. They both look exactly the same. A little bit more in this one. My Neurox Health has to fix that. So we'll pour a little more. We'll get these exact even for you guys so you can see. Uh, yeah, that's about right. Um, yeah, they look almost exactly the same. This one seems like it has a little bit more creaminess to the head. This one has a little bit more kind of rocky kind of bubbles to it. But nothing too crazy. Maybe a little bit darker over here. Maybe a little bit. But overall... Pretty much the same thing so far. So, let's see if we get a nose on the old puppies over here. Getting like a mango melon vibes and with a little bit of rindiness, a little bit of that's kind of skin on there. So, I'm getting a kind of what I assume is that kind of hot bittering, hot burn kind of thing going on with a deep, rich, ripened kind of melon slash kind of tropical fruitness kind of mango meat melon kind of puree kind of thing going on with a bunch of sweetness not too much bitterness in there Let's see what buddies has to offer it's very similar there's a bit more of a slightly kind of buttery component to this one It's not as rich, not as vibrant, but it, it's very similar with that subtly, subtle kind of butter thing. What that leads me to believe is there are variants, but this one might be older. Could be wrong, but that's what I'm getting on so far. So they smell like hazy double IPAs, um, not too bittering, um, definitely sweet. Um, this one smells a little bit sweeter, a little bit less sweet, and kind of has that little dash of a buttery thing going on. So, yeah. Let's just dive in. Dogs first, because dogs are the best. Way more bittering in the mouth than it lend itself on the nose. You do get that kind of, you know ripened melon kind of papaya tropical fruit melon thing vibe going on but it's way less than the bittering um it, the sweetness is in there but that bittering is so big and the yeast is so dense and that hopper is so dry that it kind of cancels out a lot of that sweetness 
it's still there though. It's kind of like, you know, if you had a teaspoon of sugar and you put it into a cup of salt and you ate a cup of salt, you still ate a teaspoon of sugar, you just don't taste the salt. It's kind of what you have going on here. Combination of the yeast and the hops and all that. Just push back that sweetness. Kind of makes you think it's way more bitter and not as sweet as it is, but it actually is. And that's pretty much it. Big bittering. Each time it gets way more palate smacking. Um, it's like a greeny bittering, like a generic weedy bittering. Not super dank or not bitties or anything like that. To, you know, kind of generic weedy kind of dankiness. Not as like vibrant as green. Um, that's it. Let's get on that bunnies. Cheers. It comes off, again, very similar, but I believe there's a little bit more sweetness in this one. Or a little bit, I don't know if it's a little more sweetness, a little less yeasty, kind of hot bittering. I think it's a little bit more sweetness. Mouth feels a little less, there's a little bit more kind of mango rindiness in here as opposed to hot burn kind of vibe very similar beers different but similar i could see this being just a batch variant um but it's you know I, I mean, i'm sure there's different hops being used that's probably what's going on here um i'll look this up after the video see what's what but as it sits right now Very similar. Like I said, this has more in the nose, but ever so slightest amount. A little bit of that butteriness in there. So I'm guessing this has a bit of age on it. Not much, but probably a couple weeks older than this one. That's just me taking a shot in the dark based off of what I taste. But that's pretty much it. Um, not much else to talk about, to be perfectly honest with you. They're, you know, they're big, big thick, hazy, yeasty, hoppy, particulate, hop this hop, that hop, dry hop to here and there and the other thing, kind of facsimiles of, of a lot of what's been going on in the hazy beer world. It's 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 coming gonna, gonna come off a little bit beat the dead horse here because what I'm gonna do here is I'm probably gonna post all these civil society beers all at once. And it, this is one, two, three, four, the fourth one I've had and they're ringing true to what, um, from each beer to beer. Uh, which is that they're, you know, a brewery that is trying to do the New England style IPA thing, is kind of getting that haze in check, getting that hop in check, getting that yeast in check, and getting just reaching for a beer to look and taste. Uh, look, I don't want to say taste. Look and be like a super hazy IPA, but not letting the beer do it. Um, it, it, it I'm not saying they're not going to get to a level that I enjoy them. And again, this is all my personal opinion. Not me kind of judging them, you know, 5 out of 50 or 10 out of 20 or 30 out of whatever. Um, this is, it, it tastes like a brewery that's trying to do what the kind of upper echelon does do, but has yet to find their own voice in there and is doing, is just making super hazy stuff. It, it, it tastes like there's something in there. It tastes like there's personality in there, but have yet to have one yet from them. So... It's, it, it's similar in the sense that a lot of things I talk about magnify. Um, it, it tastes like magnify to me. It's a little bit further on as far as find, trying to find themselves. But um, but it's, again, I've been saying the same thing about magnify for about a year now. Uh, these beers I've been about a week into. You know what I mean? So, you know, a little bit different uh, kind of uh, kind of timeline there. But, um, but you know, they're, they're super hazy. They're, you know, they look good in pictures. And, you know, a lot of people, a good portion of America would love these beers, do you know what I mean? Um, and think they're fantastic. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. And, and I've, you know, I've learned this thing too, not to ramble on. Well, fuck it, I ramble on all the time. Um, you know, I take what I get for granted. You know, I live in Pennsylvania, so I do have access to, if I want to get them, some of the best of these kind of beers 
the world has to offer. You know, I've kind of been like, oh, these, this beer, I'm, you know, whether it be other people's reviews or talking with other people around the country, but like, yeah, I'm like, that, those beers are kind of meh. But then they're like, you don't understand down here in Texas or, or even California, be like, we have four, one brewery, two breweries, California, maybe five, ten breweries doing these. You have 87 breweries doing these beers. So you have so much to weed through that the, the next level shit just it, it is so much easier to get. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm being a little bit kind of like, um, you know, too, just too easily attainable. I'm, I'm the person that eats steak every day and kind of complains when I get just a base cut instead of a fucking Kobe beef. I don't know if that's the case. It certainly could be. But what I do is I drink beers and I talk about them on what I've experienced. And from what I've experienced, this brewery could definitely get to that point. But right now... From what I've had, and I still have some more to go. I think I have four more to get through, maybe three more. You know, they're they're just they're not bad. They're just they've they haven't gotten to the point where they figured it out. It sounds so pretentious to say that, but whatever. Anyway, let's talk about it. Are these some of the better double IPAs that I've had as of late? No, not for me. Not bad by any sense, but I have so many good ones. Other ones land better for me. Value and availability, don't know. Maybe Ralph can chime in let me know. And I assume it's a brewery-only thing. And just say if you like what we like this. If you like what I talked about. You know, if you like the haze for days and you want to have that, you know, kind of, you know, any IPA dude bro thing going on, this is where you're at. You live in Florida, this is might be the best you can get from that line. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? But... If you're kind of one of those people, those you know, you know, kind of, you know, big come from money white collar dudes that are constantly like you know trading beers and you're getting you know your any you know your whatever trilliums, tree houses, your equilibriums of the world, and this is going to be just a little bit behind it, not bad, just a little bit behind it as far as impact and flavor. So if you're looking for new breweries that do things, this is a brewery to look out for. Try them now. Try them later. Per, you know. Get, and I think I said this in another video, buy their beers. Keep them open. Do you know what I mean? Get them to want to keep being creative and make different beers. And then, you know, in months or a year from now, when they start making these crazy beers, you know, then you know the progression and growth it takes to actually get to that point. You know what I mean? But, uh, so yeah, if you like good, hazy IPAs and you want to help make a brewery, kind of keep keep on keeping on can i actually say that i don't know it's hippie shit but anyway then give them a whirl so there you go another review in the books hopefully you enjoyed it words and stuff uh down there if you want to chime in facebook twitter instagram and tap massive beers all four of those places and yeah another review down so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully enjoying a nice civil society beer right now hope we'll see you next time cheers <laughs>